Hallelujah. On that resurrection morning. Hallelujah. That all the bars are broken. Hallelujah. We shall rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, Father, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for this waiting congregation. Now, God, we know your word has already been released from heaven, ordained and blood washed. Now, God has used this vessel to portray to your people that in words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my God. God bless you. May be seated. We shall rise. <clears throat> Thank you, choir, for those great renditions this morning. For the book of the gospel recorded by John, chapter 20, John chapter 20, in verse 16, you find these words. Jesus saith to her, Mary, she turned herself and saith unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. I want to talk this morning from the subject, the thought, a voice in the graveyard. A voice in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. My family of God, let me begin by saying the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the greatest news story in the history of mankind. Now, I agree that some would argue that the first landing on the moon by man was a great story. This astonishing feat made many to call it the greatest news story of the modern era. When the Golden Girls won the Olympic medal, people of Bahamian, the Bahamian people thought that was the greatest story ever. When Andretti won, some of us felt that was a great story. But hear me when I tell you the resurrection of Jesus Christ is still the greatest news story ever recorded. Now I must also agree that the birth of Jesus was a great news story. The baptism was a great news story. The miracles in wrath were great news stories. But the greatest story ever told was the story when Jesus got up from the dead. Because if he had died and stayed dead, he would be like any other world leader. Confucius Muhammad. And all of those, they died and they did what? They stayed dead. But Jesus got up from the grave, making this the greatest story ever told. When Job put the question to, of all centuries and to all religious faith, if a man die, shall he live again? He addressed himself to a concern which engaged the mind of humanity since the dawn of creation. This is the, a question all mankind have asked. What happens after death? Do man live again somewhere else? Do this body go around in a circle like the Greeks will have you to believe? And that when you go around the full circle, you come back to life again? It's a question on the mind of all of humankind. If a man dies, shall or would he live again? In other words, the question of this hour is what is there? 
that gives meaning to this crazy quilt we call life. Where all the wise and foolish die alike. The rich and the poor die alike. The have or the have nots die alike. The educated and illiterate die alike. What is it to this quilt we call death? 